Okay, well, a lot of controversy was surviving uh, or was ongoing with the most recent episode of CBS's long-running show, Survivor, which I happen to be a big fan of. I've actually watched uh, every episode of Survivor, every season, probably excluding the first season. I think I came in at season number two. A lot of controversy, though, after this past week's episode where... This is kind of a spoiler for any of those that are Survivor fans. If you haven't watched it yet, little warning there, a little bit of a spoiler. However, during Tribal Council, fellow competitor Jeff Varner, who is openly gay, it was no secret to anybody on, on the show, this is actually the second time coming back. This is a Survivor game changer, so it's a bunch of returning players to the game that have played before, some two, even three times they've played now. Uh, there was an incident that happened at the tribal council where he exposed one of his fellow tribe mates as being a transgender. And he basically let that secret out throughout the entire tribe. Not only that, but all of America as well. Of course, they didn't know. Now, they, they recognized, and uh, the guy's name was Zeke, the competitor Zeke, who he exposed as uh, being transgender. Many already knew that he was gay, but... Um, he didn't want to be known as the first ever trans survivor contestant. So chaos ensues at during the tribal council where just everybody is just lashing out at Jeff Varner, who again was the one who exposed Zeke as being transgender, although openly gay himself. Um, and it was just it, truly incredible. Um, now since the episode has aired already, it aired on this past Wednesday, uh, Jeff Varner has been fired from his job. Now, he was um, voted out unanimously. In fact, it, it was so bad to the point, I mean, so unanimous that they didn't even have to do their typical, you know, going up, writing the name down and doing the whole vote thing like they normally do. Um, they just all sat down there with Jeff Propes, the host of Survivor, and he says, look, is there any doubt? Is anybody not voting for Jeff? And they said, no. So they just called it right there, and Jeff got, uh, Varner got kicked out right then and there. Well, now... He has lost his job with his company because this is the level that it's taken to now. This is just spread everywhere. Of course, it wasn't going to happen until after the episode aired. You know, I'm wondering what he was thinking leading up to this, kind of knowing like, you know, they've been off the show now, obviously, for a couple of months when they filmed this. And now he's been fired from his job. And I'm just wondering, do you, do you guys think that was right? Well, you guys let me know in the comments, but I'll explain to you uh, exactly what happened. Now, now, according to the Greensboro News and Record, Jeff Varner was fired on Thursday from Allen Tate Realtors, saying that he was told by his employer that he was, quote, in the middle of a news story that we don't want anything to do with. Allen Tate Realtors didn't immediately respond to request for comment. Now, Varner joined the agency in their Greensboro, North um, Elm area only last month. The ruckus began on April 12th when Varner told the rest of the Survivor tribe that, quote, there was a deception here before turning to fellow contestant Zeke Smith and asking him, quote, why haven't you told anyone that you are transgender? So it went on from there. Um, Zeke had remained silent throughout this while Varner tried to save face by arguing, you know, $1 million was at stake and he's going to do what he's got to do to win. Although many people said, you know, you just, you just went way too far. He says, look, I'm already going to beat myself up, beat myself up over this, he added, before, before sitting for the rest of the council with his head between his hands. Smith hadn't planned to come out onto the show, and he didn't want it to be the first transgender survivor contestant. He told the new issue of People magazine, quote, I'm not ashamed of being trans, but I didn't want that to be my story. I just wanted to go out on an adventure and play a great game. I just wanted to be known for my game, simply, and that's it. Now, Jeff Varner did take a beating and a lashing on social media. He issued an apology after the episode aired, writing in part, quote, outing someone is assault, he wrote. It robs a strong, courageous person of their power and protection and opens them up to discrimination and danger. It can leave scars that haunt them for a lifetime. So this segment of the show took up about 20 minutes on Survivor itself as they were just all just throwing brick after brick at Varner for what he said. And, you know, and here's the thing. And you know what? Everybody's going to have a different opinion about this. Being a fan of the show for so long, I can remember many other times where you want to talk about lies 
people doing what they got to do to win. I mean, they've had contestants on there faking deaths uh, in their family in order to garner sympathy, but yet you wouldn't even see as many bricks thrown at them for that. You know, it's it, this issue with transgenders, the LGBT community, homosexuality, everything like that. It's treated differently than any other, than most other issues are. Um, so the fact too, that this was an openly gay man that was exposing a transgender, um, you know, I, I don't know. That just seems, has he taken too much flack? Should people lay off of him a little bit? Look, it is a game, but again, I've seen lines cross before. So, you know what? That's up for debate. Um, does he deserve to be fired from his job? Look, I mean, if it, they don't want to be caught up in a news story, obviously, and they don't want to probably, they're trying to protect their company image saying, look, we don't want this, you know, you know, I, I would think that they would be a little bit more lax, especially because he's already an openly gay man. Now, if a straight guy said that, and it was a straight man who exposed Zeke as being transgender on the show, I think you'd see it even worse. You'd probably see death threats against this person, everything like that. Uh, but just seeing how they're treating Jeff Varner in this case is pretty surprising, even though he's already a gay man himself. So, uh, but I'm just trying to point out the fact here, guys, that this is becoming an increasingly um, bigger topic throughout our country. And I will say this right now. I do not agree with, I, I do not support homosexuality, the lifestyle, transgender I do not support it. I believe what the Word of God says, what the Bible says, He created man and woman, that homosexuality is an abomination unto God. When God decided on your gender, it wasn't for you to change it. What He set forth to be is how you should be. If you were born a biological male, then that's what you are. If you were born a biological female, that's what you are. When you try to pervert that and try to twist that, that is wrong. Okay, so I will say that to you guys right now. But this is becoming something that is being increasingly more accepted. And I'm not talking about to go bully people if you don't agree with their lifestyle, because that's not actually how you win people to Jesus Christ. You don't win people to Christ by bullying them. But at the same time, you have to have the sense to know that you can't openly support something that God looks at as a sin. Because a lot of churches are doing that right now as well. So you got to be very careful um, with how you approach that. Be very firm, because if you're not, you're going to be very deceived, and you could be easily swayed the other way to say, well, you know what? It's not so bad after all. They're not bad people. No. God loves all people, but he doesn't like sin. And that's really what it's, what it's all about. So whether or not Varner deserved to be fired or not, I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, Personally, if, if he was a good worker, um, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if I would have fired him. Maybe I, I probably wouldn't have, to be honest with you. But again, they're trying to protect their company. Uh, they're worried they're going to get a bad image for it. So they have to do what they're going to have to do. But again, really, I'm just trying to point out the fact that this is being increasing, increasingly widely more accepted throughout the country. More and more, we see it. We see the influx of the LGBT influence in movies now, especially in cartoons, Disney films. You can check a lot of my previous videos about that. I talk about those in depth. So I'll leave you guys with that. It's crazy times we're living in, guys. It, it's, it's, it's certainly, we're certainly living in the last days. And Jesus Christ is coming back soon. I'll put the full link below the article. You guys can check it out. If you guys are Survivor fans too, chime in with your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear uh, from you as well. I'm sure I'm going to get uh, reactions on both sides, which is fine. Feel free to leave what you want um, down there. Uh, most importantly, guys, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God. We will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life, no matter what sin you've ever committed. Give your life over to Christ today. You can be forgiven of all of it. You'll be a new creation in Christ Jesus. I'll continue to keep you guys up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. Thank you so much, guys. Also, to all the new subscribers that recently joined up, it means a great deal to me. Thank you so much for your support. I'll be back with more, guys. You guys take care. 
Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.